there are calls for the rules around foreign takeovers in Australia to be tightened. A Senate inquiry has found some foreign investors are making a mockery of Australian rules by failing to deliver on their promises. The inquiry into the Foreign Investment Review Board has raised concerns about the sale of Tasmanian dairy Van Diemen's Land Company and the proposed Muscle Row Bay Resort to overseas buyers. Tasmania's biggest and oldest dairy, the Van Diemen's Land Company, was sold to Chinese-owned Moon Lake Investments in 2016. The deal won the approval of then Treasurer Scott Morrison after the company made a series of commitments to the Foreign Investment Review Board, including boosting job numbers. It's clear that VDL didn't meet its undertakings and the committee has recommended that undertakings now be enforceable by law. A Senate inquiry has found foreign investors who make promises but fail to deliver make a mockery of Australia's assessment process and undermine community confidence in the foreign investment framework. The Foreign Investment Review Board needs to get tough and not make decisions on commitments that aren't even enforceable. Investor Rob Woolley was behind an unsuccessful bid by Australian company Taz Foods to buy VDL. I knew they wouldn't be able to deliver on the promises they made at the time they purchased it and I think the Foreign Investment Review Board processes are flawed. In response, Van Dairy Limited has taken out a two-page advertisement in a business lobby group newspaper listing the commitments to the Foreign Investment Review Board which have been honoured. The inquiry also looked at the case of the proposed Muscle Row Bay Resort in Tasmania's northeast. The AFP alleges two Chinese nationals used laundered money to buy the land. That's an example of why we need to strengthen the approvals process. We need to be looking at the character of the principal beneficiary of any foreign acquisition. On the flip side, the inquiry made a favourable example of the sale of baby formula manufacturer Bellamy's, where the conditions of the purchase were publicly available. The inquiry recommends a strengthening of foreign investment review board processes. It comes amid a possible takeover of Huon Aquaculture by Brazilian meat processor JBS. Here we have a real test for the Foreign Investment Review Board, a, a real test uh, for the uh, Prime Minister and the Treasurer. Mr Speaker. In a statement, Treasurer Josh Frydenberg says legislation passed last year ensures Australia's foreign investment framework keeps pace with emerging risks and global developments. Fiona Blackwood, ABC News.